When I started to collect vintage watches, there was one really desirable alarm watch, Jeja Le Coultre Memovox. Beautiful pieces with a link to 40s design, functional, with a beautiful sounding alarm bell and a hefty price tag. And every time somebody complained about this price tag, he or she was told, then buy yourself a Vulcan Cricket, the little brother of the Memovox, the worker. The Cricket was produced over decades with an in-house caliber and its sound was rough. It was well respected, not really rare, not really expensive, but of course with all the fuss a vintage watch is able to produce and now it's back. For me one of the most interesting new releases in 2022. So let's go over the basics. We have a hand-wound watch either with a case diameter of 39 or 36. I will focus here on the latter. Length of the watch is 44 mm, height 12.8 and lug width 18. We have a sapphire crystal, a water resistance of 50 meters, and inside works the V10 caliber with 25 joules operating at 18,000 beats with a power reserve of 52 hours. The watch comes on a leather strap and the price is <clears throat> 4060 euros including VAT or 3285 US dollars without VAT. So there's a lot to explore because we have a tradition line with four different dials. I will not go over every detail because the runtime is limited, but what a sight! Very easy to find a favorite here, right? My model of choice is the eggshell. And then we have the classic line, also with four different dials. And again, wow, look at the loom of the salmon and the brown dial. I think I've never seen loom that is so close to radium. The black dial here looks in my eyes incredible realistic, like it really was an old piece. The dial layout of all watches is very close to the original. You have the old logo, just lovely, name of the watch, Swiss made and a minute scale. And you're guessing right, the black hand with the arrow tip is the hand for the alarm. The pusher is to set the time of the alarm. You push it and then you can use the normal crown to move the hand. The alarm is about 20 seconds long and sounds like this. And one word about the movement. The V10 is in production since 1947. It's not hackable, it's slow, but it can be very precise and parts are spread all over the globe. So my guess is that you can find an independent watchmaker to service this piece. And now let's speak briefly about the brand Vulcan. Founded 1858 in Switzerland, it is one of the older watch brands. 1947, they presented the Cricket, which was one of their biggest success and was in production until the Quartz Crisis. They continued to produce the V10 movements for other brands though. And as far as I understood, the brand was never dead, so you don't have a revived name here, but a real company. The price, last point. Uh, I don't know, I understand the historic value and these are good looking watches with an iconic movement, but the competition in the region 4K is big. Vulcan, are you sure that people will spend that amount of money? I hope so, I really do. Okay, my favorites are the tradition eggshell and the classic black and khaki. What are yours? Let me know in the comments, please. And that said, allow me to close this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week.